All right, Eric, that was a real good question. Um, so here's, I want to show you one thing. All right, so I'm going to go to AirDNA on my Chrome browser, and you'll see what happens when I actually try to get pricing information. So I'll go to MarketMinder, because that's what you want to go to, and I'll type in something like, uh, let's see, let's do Bowie, Maryland. All right, and you see it stops me and asks me to create an account. All right, that's because I've used tried to use this hack too many times, and even if I try to get around it, I really can't. Even if I try to refresh it, it's going to pop back up. I hit log in, and I don't want to sign up for fear of it, you know, not allowing me to hack it anymore. So. What I'm going to do is I open up Safari, all right, and I'm going to start all the way over. I'm going to go, let's just go to AirDNA.co. All right, then we're going to I find this interesting because I don't see. All right, there we go. <clears throat> Market Minder. Usually, you can do this a few times before it. Um, request that you make an account so first we're going to just do something like Atlanta Georgia now you see I didn't uh, okay so here we are Atlanta Georgia and we see it's giving me the average daily rate the occupancy rate the revenue now if I want to click view rates and get into deeper detail you know you have to pay for that but for me personally this is good enough information to you know get a general idea of whether this specific city makes sense uh, now you can see active rentals you can see everything the rental channel you can see the rental size like all this is great great information the amenities everything and it shows you everything and you also probably notice that each city has a different price so Atlanta is kind of popping so it's a hundred dollars a month but if I go over here and I type in first I want to show you something if you type in let's see let's type in a, a zip code in Atlanta maybe I shouldn't do Atlanta um let's do this you see the rates a lot it doesn't show me anything you cannot do a zip code so get rid of the postal code uh, and type in the actual city so if I type in Beaufort Georgia boom they show up it's the same thing <laughs> I just didn't do the zip code you type in the city it'll give you the rates now if you keep doing this over and over and over and over and over again it's going to eventually ask you to create an account and then at that point, let's keep doing that because now I'm a little curious. But this is how it worked for me in the past. I'll basically just clear my cookies and I could do it over again. So now let's go to the DC area. Let's do Bowie, Maryland. See, it's showing me 106. But if I type in a zip code, what is Bowie? I think 2743. That's Capitol Heights. Let's just do that. Z zip code again. It's blocked. But if I type in. actual city it's going to give me the rates so let's just keep on doing stuff um, let's see let's see Los Angeles California 167 daily rate now let's do Westlake Village okay well let's see I think it's, it didn't show because it maybe say Westlake right there but let's type in West Lake Village, California. Oh my goodness, West Lake Village is where it's at. 419. Hmm. You know, everything in West Lake Village is not terribly expensive like LA either. That, that's actually pretty impressive. I'm a little curious now. <laughs> curious now. The occupancy rate is 60%. Average revenue per month, 33. Okay. 
entire home. You need at least a two bedroom, two, two to four. Okay. So let's see here. Let's, I don't know, Dallas, Texas. I am a little curious of what places are doing well. So let's see. Let me, I'm just trying to skip it ahead now. Skip ahead and try to get it to make me create an account. Dorado. Um, 276. Man, that is crazy money for Puerto Rico. You guys don't even understand. You can find stuff in Dorado and, um, Dorado Del Mar, and you can find something for a hundred thousand dollars. And I guarantee you, some of those. Let me see. I know I'm a little bit getting off off topic, but I might I might be finding something for you guys. If this is a it's a villa, that is going to be no no the risk. It's going to be around here. Something you want? Um, let's see over here. Let via leg via legends via Clara the risk reserve okay that's too far um four bedroom home steps from beach okay daily rate six seven dollars I was say I know exactly what that is Villa del Mar this is like what you want daily rate okay this house oh darn it oh there you go and I'm going to just say it in English, Villas de Playa. That right there, you see the daily rate is 119 but the houses are like $100,000, if if that. Um, let me see. And it's not a bad place. It's, it's gated, heavily gated. Uh, natural beauty by the beach. Now, see, when you get to these higher ones over here, these are going to be... Um, these are the villas. Now, the larger villas, anyway, with the elevators and stuff like that. It's a whole lot more maintenance. It's not, it's a place where you want to probably live, not really the other ones. I don't think that'll show us what the house looks like. Anyway, anyway, you guys, I, I'm, I don't know. It's not, um, <laughs> it's not bumping me out yet. So you can just keep doing this. There we go. Boom. All right. So you see what happens. It's going to ask you to create a, an account now. So here's what we're going to do. Let's go to clear history and let's see if that works. For the last hour, clear history. And now we're going to refresh it. Nope. It's still asking to. Now let me put on my thinking cap here. We're going to go to C Cleaner. Let me open that up. Okay, now we're back. Let's go ahead and open up Safari. Let's try to go to Air DNA again. And let's expand it so we can go to Market Minder. And we're going to go to Dorado, Puerto Rico again. Boom. And it's working all over again. So there you go. Get um if you just clear the history is not enough you gotta actually go deep into the files of the um of the system and the only way you can really do that efficiently without doing it quickly and without messing anything up is to use C Cleaner so I'll leave a link to that in the description you should click that and it'll download C Cleaner for you and there you go I mean I know this is not the full comprehensive but you know this is this is better than nothing, you know, so this might work for you. It might not, you know, usually if you are a little more seasoned, this will be enough, uh, especially if you know the city pretty well. This is all you really need. And uh, yeah, hopefully this was helpful.